Now I want to tell you about massage oils and creams. Now, the first thing you need to understand is every body type is different. So make sure before you decide on what cream or oil you want to use, you check in with your client because some people do have allergies. So you want to make sure that the oil or cream you're using is not going to harm your client. Now, most people recommend a cold pressed vegetable oil. So you can use any type of oil from almond oil. Some people even use seaweed oil. I like to use a citrus blend, but it's unscented. Also check with your client about scents because every scent isn't right for everyone. Also, I like to use lavender oil because it's good for relaxation. So if you decide that you want to use essential oil, check up on it. See what the differences are in the essential oils. Sometimes they have different ones for energy or relaxation or even for menstrual cycles. Also, creams. A lot of creams that I get are manufactured by companies. So with those, you can decide whether you want like a heat rub or just a non-scented massage cream. A lot of massage schools or massage websites may sell different massage creams uh, via their um, websites. So make sure you check in with the client, number one. Determine what is best suited for you and your client as far as smells and feels because I enjoy using massage creams more than massage oils. But I'm just me. So I want to thank you for listening to this part of Massage Oils and Creams for Swedish Massage. Thank you.